I am Joanna and I am a member of the Faithful Running Search and this is a video about love. I want to speak about love that is true love and um, I am going to quote a series of messages that have been revealed from heaven to the two witnesses that who are Petrus Romanus and Mary Romanus and Petrus Romanus is also the true and last Pope of this era and Jesus and a lot of people from heaven have spoke to them and it's all being given in the website www.testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com Now I'll go into the message. This is what Jesus, this is how Jesus explains love. Love does not seek out selfish intentions. And love does not sin intentionally so as to offend me, the Most High True God. Love bears all things, all changes of the times, without compromising principles. Love endures all things. An example of this is when I said, Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you for my name's sake, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is endurance. Love hopes all things. Means that those who are embracing true love will hope in their creator who made all things and every circumstance who knows all adversities and inconveniences. And above all, love never ends. I am love and not in the fuzzy feeling sense of the word. I ask my true followers to understand what true love is and to express this love always. And I tell you all, sin is not love. So Jesus has given us few characteristics of love. That is, it does not have any selfish intentions. That is to do a sin by your own will or because of any selfish intentions. And it bears all the things that is, it bears any uncomfortable words that are being told by our Creator which we feel as uncomfortable or any changes that we might perceive with our eyes which are being told by heaven which does not go with the principles which we already had in our mind and it endures everything it is love to endure suffering and it is love to suffer for our Lord and it hopes all things we always have hope that you know, that God is there for us at all times and love never ends it's never ending it's eternal so and sin is not love so that's what Jesus says now there are other messages there is a message from November 27 2012 from Blessed Virgin Mary this is what she said these are important questions to ask yourselves as you read my son's testimony and you begin to learn that his love is very real but he does seek love in return and how would you express this love but by turning away from your sins and begin to clothe yourself in sackcloth and in ashes as he has requested now when Jesus says in another video Jesus says, My sheep know my voice, but when I call to them, they will come, because no other loves them as I do, because I tell them the truth for the betterment of their spiritual lives. And they will be the ones who lead the tradition of men and hold fast to my commands in each and every moment. And in these times, for people who refuse to listen to my true messengers, to my two witnesses whom I have appointed during this time, well, they will experience the rod because I am love and I discipline with love and love is not tolerance and Jesus has not given us a watered down version of himself in the testimony. He says, they either love me as I am or hate me. There's only two choices. Unfortunately, the majority of the people who have seen my testimony are hating it. 
because they don't stand with me. If the people were standing with me, then they would love and acknowledge my word. But they don't love or acknowledge my word, the only word that can give them life. So this is what is meant by divine love or true love. And as members of the faithful remnant, we are grateful and we are being given the love from heaven which nobody else on the surface of the earth who are in the B state can experience. So I, I would like to tell you the benefits that we are getting as faithful remnants. Jesus says, all of heaven are watching over all of the members of the faithful remnant church. The ones in heaven are the church triumphant because they overcame sin in their interior lives by seeking to name the problem and get it fixed we are the members of the true church and we are in fact the church militant but we are not soldiers in the sense of a physical battle we are spiritual soldiers because we are not fighting against flesh and blood but we are in fact fighting the kingdom of the evil one and the only way to do that is by cleaning your knee and your blessed mother using the blessed holy water often and receiving fraternal correction in your heart as a gift of love because it is love to tell someone the truth. It is love to make someone extremely uncomfortable if that will help them to get on the right path or to stay on the right path. It is not at all what the world calls love. They see the love that I have for them as hatred. So whenever you feel a resistance in your soul to divine counsel, know that for you it is a good thing because you know what to do whenever that happens. But for the majority of the people who visit my website, the same lead surfaces in them, but it is all demons. They can only hate my world and they have no relief from the torments. And as members of the Faithful Remnant Church, we are disciples and children of the Most High True God. So, how will disciples be treated by God? I'll explain to you. Jesus said, All disciples are called to be disciplined. That is why they are called disciples. Because they are being trained and taught by discipline. And I discipline all those whom I love and I chastise every son that I receive and I fraternally correct everyone who is in the wrong either in this life or in the next. It is easier to receive discipline now and to embrace his role as a disciple than to try to fight against it and be saddened inside and then wonder where that sadness comes from. All those who fight against Pope Peter the last in their interior lives will fall and fall hard because he is my true representative and he listens to me and that is to be an example for all the remnant to listen to instruction and to grow faster and to become more spiritually mature. What about love? Perhaps my disciples are called to love the world and everything in it, to love their desires and own opinions, their own thoughts and inspirations even. No, this is worldly love. I call my true disciples to divine love. What is divine love? It is unconditional. To love me is to love what I ask from each of you. There are no conditions. You receive love and I expect you to give love. Love me, your creator, even as I discipline you. Now, how do you show your love back to the Creator? Jesus said, I know that all of mankind sins. It is something that my faithful remnant are striving to overcome. But if they would seek to be honest with themselves and honest before me, well, that is how love covers a multitude of sins. When my remnant are honest with me, that is how they are showing their love. Here is the saddest part. If the first Adam and Eve had turned to me instead of trying to hide from me after they had fallen, 
Well, let's just say that history would have been a little different. For I can see the future, this future, and I can also see every other future. At the same time, I look at the one that is being fulfilled. And I am aware of each path that a person takes, where that will lead them. And I am aware of all the paths they could have taken and where all those paths would have led them. So, these are some messages about love. Now, in the Holy Bible, I'll just read to you a portion of the Bible that explains about love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 8 Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. So this is how love is being explained in the testimony of the two witnesses and as members of the faithful remnant we are disciples and we are called to love our creator the first and then each other and also to love ourselves and always it will be good if we would we can remember this that god the father sent his only son jesus out of love for our souls so that the kingdom of heaven would be open to us once more and Jesus died for our sins because of love for our souls and all of heaven is looking with love for us and they are praying for us and doing everything possible so we are expected to give back love and the only way we can do that is by responding to the two witnesses, their instructions, saying yes in each moment to what they ask us to do, and loving each other, supporting each other, and loving God, praising Him, thanking Him. This is the way we can show love. But if we are choosing to be arrogant to instruction, and arrogant to whatever is being revealed in the testimony, not believing it, not enduring suffering, seeing it as a pain, and that's not love. So we need to ask God to fill us with His love, that is the true Holy Spirit. It's the love between our Father in Heaven and Jesus, that is the manifestation of the true Holy Spirit. And so we will need to be filled with the true Holy Spirit so as to experience the full manifestation of that love and peace. So, all the best for everybody in the remnant. Keep persevering. Bye.